What did you get us into? What a nice day. Can you believe this is January? What's up everybody? Dan from the Headwaters Kayak Shop. And behind me I've got the new Vibe Yellowfin 130T. Um, two person fishing kayak with two lawn chair style seats, two hatches, some rod holders. I'm gonna give you guys a quick walkthrough and then Matt and I are actually gonna take it out to Lodi Lake and give it a quick test paddle and give you guys our initial feedback. So real quick, just about a stern walkthrough for you guys. This is a 13 foot tandem. It's got your drain plug up there, pretty standard. If you get water in the hole, that's uh, how you drain it out. Plastic front handle, same as we've saw on the Seagulls. A little storage compartment here. Really, I would only be good for maybe a small dry bag. Uh, as we look at the front person's cockpit, you have adjustable foot pedals for the front paddle. Uh, you've got a little spot right here for a Scotty or Ram rod holder. Cubby for who knows what. It does come with scupper plugs all the way throughout the boat, about a stern. Each paddler, both in the front and the back, get a nice watertight, watertight hatch. It's elevated up off the deck, so it's not going to tend to get water to fill in. And then here you've got a little cat bag. So if you throw stuff in there throughout the day, it's not drifting throughout the boat. Uh, on either side of the seat, you have a little tackle storage. Put your tackle box in there, you could lock it in. Back paddler, almost identical cockpit. The back person's got the lawn chair style seat. They've got the dry hatch in front of them here, adjustable foot pedals. You have paddle storage on each side. You lay your paddle across here and then bungee it in. Um, it's all set up for tracks. If you wanted to add some Yak Attack tracks, you totally could just add them right in here. It also is pre-plumbed for a rudder. So if you wanted to add a rudder to it, it's all pre-done. You just drop the pin in, run the, uh, the raised and lower lines and the cables for the foot control. In here you see it already has the cleat. So that is an option that's available. Comes standard on the Seaghost, it's optional on the yellow fin tee. Uh, other than that, let's see, we got a nice deep tank well. It's big enough to fit a small cooler or a milk crate or a black pack. A couple of rod holders in the back. And yeah, just in general, it's a nice wide kayak. Should be very stable. We're gonna go get it on the water and test it out. So the specs on this say it's about 80 pounds. Um, I'm thinking that must be with the seats in, because it doesn't seem too bad. Definitely car toppable for uh, the average person. My tread's super tall, but uh, even so, it wasn't too bad to get up there. Yeah. You all set, Matt? You got your purple life check on? You ready to go? Ready to rock? Let's do it. Uh, I'm 225. You're 225 and I'm 170. 225, 170. That's 304. I'm sorry. That puts us at 400. We're good. Yeah. This thing has a 500 pound capacity. So we're at our boathouse today, Lodi Lake, as usual. Kind of our testing grounds. And uh, we're going to do it the lazy way. We're going to go in off the uh, the rollers. You ready? Like a couple of renders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the sea height. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> We're gonna try to just get a few different shots. Um, playing with the maneuverability. So far, man, this boat is really stable, really nice. The best oh. tandem we've had in the shop so far, I'd say. Yeah, as far just as the paddle the kayak goes, this is, test. this is it. All right. I'll get, let me get up first. Okay. Here we go. Comfy? Yeah, ish. Dude. Keeping a paddle in the water. Alright, so there's the test. Hello. Not that you would ever do this or should ever do this, but could you go tandem standing up? <laughs> it seems like it's easier for me because I can see. Matt, you look sketchy. Huh? I'm good. Feeling good? Feeling all right. It's so there just, you go. The double standard paddleboard. Somebody else standing on it is a little different. All right, let's do a 360 challenge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. It's really not that unsure. It's just I feel your movement under my feet is what kind of feels good. All right. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna sit down. That was better than I expected. 
So with you standing up and me sitting, it's like hell yeah. stable. Like no problem at all. You can fish easy, I mean. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. I had to. Alright, so as yes. long as nobody's screwing with you, you can fish fish easy, right? Yeah, it depends how nice your friends are. <laughs> Alright, let's go get another shot. Did we mention that it is February 1st and it is like what? 65 degrees? I'm literally hot in a in a long sleeve tee. Yeah, but the water's still freezing. Yeah. We got it facing me in the back, maps up front there. And um, yeah, this kayak is awesome. I'm actually really impressed. We have a lot of tandems in the shot. We have a huge rental part of our business too, out at Lodi Lake. And we rent a lot of the feel-free kayaks. And they're good, but um, you know, they've got clip-in seats. They're a little bit more basic. Um, two hatches, molded in foot pedals. So they're really good utilitarian kayaks. But I tell you what, this thing is ultra comfortable. Um, you feel like you're in a nice kayak. You got the hatch between your legs. You got the high back support. Um, adjustable foot pedals, really, really nice kayak. And even with Matt and I in here at almost 400 pounds, 100% stable and comfortable, no problems whatsoever. All right, so let's go over just a few of the basic things, Matt. Uh, how would you rate the stability one out of five? Five. Five? Five? Stability? Yeah. Five being the best? Yeah. That's pretty damn stable. I know, but I got, you know, I'm thinking like lure tandem is, is a five or like a... I haven't been in the lure tandem. All right. I'm going to give it a four just because I know there's more stable stuff out there. Okay. But you're right. For how big it is, it's 35 inches wide. It carries its volume all the way into the front, all the way into the back. So just real bulbous round edges that feel super, super stable. Speed wise, one through five. Four. Between both of us, if you have two good paddlers, it paddles well. Let's say for a sit on top of four. Obviously they're sit inside, like the Marvel Tandem, uh, and then sea kayaks, whatever, would be way faster. But uh, for sit on tops, I think a four is good. It feels faster than the, uh, the Ocean Kayak Malibu 2. It feels really, really efficient, you know, with not a lot of effort. So Matt's giving it a four. I don't know, it's all relative. Sit on tops aren't fast. But for a sit on top tandem, this is the fastest one we have in the shop, no, hands down. No wet butt. No wet butt. That's huge. Every other tandem that has sit on top with like the clip in seats, you always are sitting in a bit of a puddle. This, you're elevated, you're about three inches off the deck, you're dry. Yeah, it's great. I mean, for how well the boat tracks and goes straight, um, if you alternate sweep strokes, like if Matt does a forward sweep and I do a reverse sweep like this. We can spin almost 180 degrees with like two strokes. Well, yeah, two strokes. And we're facing the opposite direction. So maneuverability is great. This would be a blast to take down some class one, class two rivers. Oh, yeah, that would yeah, that would be a blast. We just talk about comfort and ergonomics. There's no squeaking going on. Your feet are below your, your hips by about three inches. They have a lot of adjustment. You don't have the molded and foot pedals. You have the adjustment. I'd give that ergonomic kind of thing a five. I could sit in this thing all day long. Um, totally comfortable. Well, what did you get us out. into? What is this? Look at this. This is all duckweed. Look at this duckweed. It's super thick. So I know we have a lot of new people to our YouTube channel, so it's important to mention that this is our demo facility at Lodi Lake. And Lodi Lake's unique in the fact that it connects to the Macaulay River. And we have about 15 miles of flat water. Lots of different, you know, windy bends in the river, little coves like this that you're going to find tons of wildlife in. Uh, so if you're ever in the area, join us on one of our tours. What a nice day. Can you believe this is January? It's not February. Oh yeah, February 1st. All right, what do you say we head back to the dock and we flip this thing around and we'll try it, uh, try it solo? Sounds like a plan. All right, so we're just going to take this guy. And look at that. They even have a high-low position here. It's not a lot, but it's an inch difference. All right. Three little clips. And then, yeah, look at your standing area now. All right, I'm gonna go check it out. So it's February, guys. Even though it's warm out in California, the water is cold. But I have absolutely no fear about being stood up in the sink. And look at all that open deck space I have in front of me. All the room for a crate or a cooler or dax behind me. What a sweet little yak. And then, so these foot pedals should, in theory, slide back far enough that even in the center position, oh yeah. Maybe I can move them down. Got about four, four notches down. 
How does it look? Does it feel pretty, pretty stable and level? Yeah, yeah, it does. Cool. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see how it does. Yeah, I think it spins on a dime. It doesn't feel like a huge kayak when you're by yourself. Still tracks pretty good. Obviously, we don't have any wind today, but man. That thing spins, I love it. Man, you have a ton of room in the back now. Yeah, look at that. Look at that tank well. I could fit the bigger fuel free cooler back there and still have space. Oh yeah. Wow, this thing's insane. Standing up felt pretty easy in it? Yeah, like getting up and down. You could probably add a little leash if you wanted. But... Nice. <laughs> Should I go for the headstand test? You always do. All right, let me get the stuff out of my pocket. You can... Okay, here we go, in jeans. I wish I knew what the water temp was. I probably wouldn't do it if I knew what the water temp was, though. I'd say between 50 and 60. That makes it sound not as bad. It's not freezing. Let me just jump in and find out. Yeah, right. Ready, set. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> One of these days you won't make it, and I hope I, it is on video. I guarantee it, but I'm gonna wait till June. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in my uh, Aqua Glide video, when I had Dax in there, mm -hmm. I didn't make it. The boat didn't flip over, but I literally just fell out. <laughs> but yeah, I am like so determined in wintertime, I'm not getting wet. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 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 What a sweet boat. I don't think there's a more versatile tandem slash solo on the market that I've ever seen. Like even the Jackson Big Tuna, it was like kind of awkward as a single, kind of awkward as a tandem, kind of big. This thing is awesome as a single and as a tandem. And you actually have the foot pegs work in both positions. The tackle storage works in both positions. Like Vibe for being a really small company, put a lot of thought and innovation into this boat. They really hit it out of the park. And it comes with flush mounts. Yeah, two flush mounts and a square stern. Like all the tandems have that rounded stern that you mm -hmm. can't put anything in. That you could fit a black pack or a cooler. So Matt and I had a blast testing out the new Vibe Yellowfin 130T. I can honestly say out of all the sit on top tandems I've paddled, this is by far my favorite. The most comfortable, the driest, uh, very stable and still manageable off the water. The fact that it has a solo and tandem positions that are functional and the layout works. Um, they really hit it out of the park. If I was gonna give this a one through five rating, I would go four and a half because I think they hit everything right. The only thing I could ding it for is a little bit on the build quality. You, you do feel a little flex and some of the parts that are, um, you know, kind of cheaper plastic maybe compared to a feel free. But there, it's also $9.99. I mean, with paddles, you really can't beat that price. So uh, all in all, I'm thrilled with this boat. We'll see this a lot more in our rental demo fleet. And um, we have it available, so if you guys want to come test it out and uh, do your own review, we encourage you to do that. All right, guys, that's it from us today. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's doing, but we always have a ton of fun doing these little test videos. Um, I hope you guys like this one. Yeah, this is a new Yellowfin Tandem. Keep watching. Yeah. One of those headstands will end up wet. <laughs> yeah, that'll probably be the title of the photo. Headstand goes bad. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. This is Dan. And Matt from Headwaters Kayak Shop. And uh, as always, we wish you guys happy paddling. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Leave us a comment in the comment section. Let us know what you're thinking about the videos. We rely heavily on your guys' feedback, and that helps us get more views and more traffic to the channel. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.